Hello everyone, I am Ragdoll, and this is of course Sims 4. I was going to show you my Three's Company build, and I'm really upset because apparently I accidentally deleted it. I don't know how I did that. I was cleaning up some of the ones that I created, trying to make something interesting to look at, you know, give them all different characteristics of their own. Like I previously talked about, I did a lot of them with the, uh randomization button and just let it kind of pick their name pick who they were and things like that I went back in and I did create a few that I paid a little more attention to like these two girls are twins and they have very different unique styles of their own this is a fashion designer and she is in love with one of her clients and a dad and a daughter this is a grandmother trying to make her way in the fashion industry. You know, I have several ones we can look at, but I'm so upset because I really put a lot of time and attention into that one and we were about to go turn it into their apartment. Now I have to go back and recreate those characters, but I thought that I did an exceptionally well, an exceptional job with it the first time, but here. This is Jack, Janet, and Chrissy, and I really thought that, you know, they worked well. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a little upset still. But I'm going to go back, recreate the characters, put them in an apartment style setting, maybe in the city. I don't want to update their wardrobe. I'm going to keep them like in the 70s. Is 70s-ish inspired clothing because I thought that was really cute but I do have a few other characters that we could play as like this is um oh goodness I can't remember their names now Michael Weston and Fiona Glennan from Burn Notice it's one of the shows my husband and I like to watch and I have just a couple of different scenario characters like this is a mom and daughter up here these two are friends in a band you know just I don't know <laughs> like that's the plan for their characters <laughs> I guess we'll go check in on Purdy though the two sisters it's my most recent creation Hopefully I can make Jack, Janet, and Chrissy look that way again because I don't think I can download those characters and play. I'm a little bit maybe relieved because their house wasn't exactly the way I wanted it to. So it's kind of split. I'm happy and sad about it. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is Nala and her sister Myla. Nyla and Myla, <laughs> maybe. Ooh. Purdy, we randomized their names and everything about them, and I just had it create a twin from Myla. And then the name Nyla came up, so I went ahead and did that, and then randomized the last name to be the first one that sounded okay with it. Oh, I love this painting. That's beautiful. <laughs> She's excited about it as well. I'm looking for painting, oh, there it is, that she bought at the craft fair. This is one she did at the craft fair, actually, and this is one she bought. And we can place them into the world, I'm pretty sure. How do I do that? Hmm. Hold on a second. No, that's not how we do that. It may have to be drag here to sell. I don't want to sell it. Oh, there it goes. I kind of like the pop art painting and it'll go well with this one if we keep it up on the wall. And then this, she said, uh-huh. So you touch it and you grab it and drag it. There we go. Oh, she created another one. How precious. I think she likes it too.
I just like those colors. Those are some of my favorite colors, like the pink and the purple and the aqua blue color. <laughs> Ooh, she says. <laughs> All right, all of her needs are in the good. She works in 15 hours, and if I can get my little controller to work, there is a flea market today. Do they have money? Oh, they have a little money, and she'll sell this painting, so I'm probably going to have her call in and go to the flea market. Aw. The festival will end in one hour. Finish up any activity. Oh, it's too late. I see. It's already past time. My mistake. All right. We'll sell this. I'm not sure I want you to get addicted to coffee. <laughs> I've been kind of letting them do whatever they want, but I do have to encourage her to sell her work. She is getting paid a lot more for it at home, and she goes to work and makes a really good amount there. I wish I could get paid $23 an hour <laughs> with three days of vacation just at the drop of a hat. <laughs> I have a pretty good setup, too. I have a pretty good boss. I'm on a little bit of a vacation right now because today is my daughter's birthday, and I'm making some cupcakes and things like that playing some video games, <laughs> having a lovely day. I hope you are having a lovely day as well. And thank you so much for joining me. I've been having a lot of fun with the Sims. I like watching them paint and do some of their favorite activities. Like the exercising is funny to me occasionally because they will fall off of the exercise device, but they come up with some of the most beautiful paintings. And occasionally you don't know where they're going with it until they're closer to done. I love it. <laughs> it's very calming. I think that's the most money she's ever made from a painting. $421. Oh, and look how beautiful it looks outside. Everything's all purple. <laughs> I love the city one for this. This is amazing. So lovely. Where are you headed? <laughs> She just likes to kick it outside occasionally. Dirty dishes and things from breakfast. Maybe come back and have... Oh, she's wanting to practice singing. Go ahead. Go practice on the balcony. <laughs> oh, well, she changed her mind. She's going to practice in the kitchen. Can you practice and paint? <laughs> I think she only does one at a time. I don't think I want them to have a coffee pot because Occasionally they glitch and I don't want it to start a fire in their apartment. I've put a lot of effort into turning this rinky dink looking apartment into something a little less rinky dink. I know it still, still has some room for improvements, but as you can see, their budget is, you know, 1,400, which is pretty good. They've been selling some paintings, both been going to work on time, trying to level up their stuff. She is really into this singing. Here, sweetie. Oh, level one of the singing skill. 
what is her level for painting at this point? Because most of the time she just does it on her own. Oh. Level five. That's great. Because this is only like day two. She's very happy and excited to keep up with her painting. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're just going to see what she paints and go ahead and fast forward time and let her do whatever she wants and hopefully her sister will come home. Maybe there will be something fun to go do downtown. Noisy neighbors are making her angry. We may have to get them a better place to live soon. Oh, her sister's home. Terrific. Oh, and she's feeling flirty. <laughs> $208. Oh, no. Throw all that away. Yeah. Gross. Okay, let's get you to serve dinner. Let's go for mac and cheese. She works in the cooking industry. 26 an hour. Goes in 15 hours. She needs to work on her mixology skill. Which is why we have a bar out here. So make a special drink. I don't know what that is, but we're going to make different drinks so that she gets practice and so that well Nala's went to sleep and she's still making drinks so let's slow things down <laughs> oh complete reach level two of mixology skill I think she's almost there oh look at it it's all bubbly cupid juice <laughs> she needs sleep it's all bubbly, though, and pretty. Um, let's have you get some sleep and then go to bed. Or, I mean, use the restroom and then get some sleep. Because you're really going to need to after drinking something. Uh -huh. It's so pretty. Oh, there is a festival coming up. Show calendar. Humor and hijinks festival. That sounds like something that she really needs to go to. And I hope I have figured out how to do birthdays better before uh, Myla and Nyla's birthday gets here. And hopefully we can make them some more friends so they'll actually show up. Their birthday was a bit of a tragedy on some of my other characters. We're going to let her have privacy. Uh-oh. We have a leak. She'll be awake very soon. And she's actually quite good at repairing things. She got tired of waiting on the landlord to come around. We call him to exterminate pests and bugs. That's about it. She's like, I can do this. What skill level are you with it? Oh, only a one level two now, but still. She gets it done pretty quickly with the sinks. They're always breaking. <laughs> this apartment could use a lot more TLC. It's debatable. Do I want them to move or do I just want to keep repairing the things wrong and improving their home life? Maybe I should have just bought her a better sink. Let me see, because I was working on replacing her counters little by little. She got these from work, Myla did. And trying to find some pretty counters that match. Oh, they're 205. Great. That's not horrible. We'll go ahead and put one in there. And one there. We'll let her finish what she's doing and then I'll... Uh-oh. I interrupted her. 
Here, let's just do this. Yeah, girl. She has the right idea. She's just walking away. I got you. And I think it's about time. Oh, my bad. I think it's about time that y'all had a maid service too because you're both putting in a lot of hours at work. Y'all are doing great at keeping up with the house. I'm impressed, but maybe we go ahead and make their kitchen a little bit bigger and then just have the tiny table at the end. That leaves us with 900 for other improvements. What do we need to make look nicer in here? <laughs> um, I moved. Can I give the other sister a bathroom where they each have their own bathroom? Oh, I hate that we have little rat holes everywhere, which is another reason I debate on whether we should move or fix it up. Because it bothers both of them as well. I think we should get them a better apartment soon. We should save money, get a better apartment. Oh, they still need a sink though. I've given them improvements on this apartment. And I do believe that everything will come with them whenever we move in our inventory. I think sink we had was already pretty good. Whoops. I sold a good sink, y'all. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not really sure. We'll see. That looks pretty enough. And darker colors since this sister is the one that cooks mainly. They each have their own kind of theme. She has like the purples and blacks. It kind of goes into the living room a little bit. And then the pink for the dining area. And then the pink in her room. And we're going to add more accents that are a little more pink to the living room. So that it's a little collaboration of both of them. But I think maybe a new computer desk and things like that. I'm going to pop everything we want to take with us to our inventory before we move to the new place. So we'll definitely have the same color scheme. You know, it'll be lovely. <laughs> I hope. We'll have to go to work for a few days and get everything accomplished before we can actually move. Uh, 278 for some little tiny house paintings. Let her get some food. Oh no, we didn't put away leftovers. Excellent quality. Put this away, girl. Don't leave it laying out. <laughs> Uh, mop up the floor. And your needs are pretty minimal. Like, she's even got energy left. Go do whatever you want. Did that say tease? Don't tease people. Be nice. View a piece of art. I think we can do that here. Oh, she went to work. <laughs> okay, are you working today? Five hours. But the festival is in... Uh, 5 p.m. today. Your work schedule would be... Oh no, that won't work at all. You'll be off at 11 p.m. What do we do? Oh, we don't have enough money to pay our bills either. That's not great. Oh no, we do, don't we? Total 7.30. Yeah, we have enough. Why is it all in red? That makes it look like we don't have enough to pay our money or pay our all of our bills that we need to make more money, you know? I would have written it in a different color if it like in green, you know? <laughs> I don't know. 
All right, so we paid our first month's rent. And these are the improvements we made on the horrible, horrible apartment. <laughs> and we've got our skill levels building. Prepare food and drinks complete. Re reach level two of mixology. Why is she t Oh, bugs. She's tense because of the bugs in the apartment, which is why we need to move. You just paid your bills. Complain to the landlord and make him she come fix it. And tell him this is unacceptable. And then you go practice making drinks because you need to be level two. At least I'm thinking you go ahead and try for level three. <laughs> Speaking of drinks, water. Oh, where, oh, where is my water? There it is. <laughs> Looks all good here, it says. Oh, she's making lemonade. Oh, don't spill it. <laughs> she's still so tense from seeing the roach that she keeps spilling her drinks everywhere. It's all right. You can do this. You can do this, Myla. You have it. Hmm. Smells okay. <laughs> Maybe. Yay, level two. I really love this tattoo that she has, the butterfly. It's so pretty. There's one on her back that's like purple and blue and green and stuff like that. I need that. <laughs> like maybe not whatever it is on her back, but those colors in like a cloud inspired kind of celestial thing would be great. <laughs> Can't see it because of her shirt, but it's all right. It's really cool. I like it. I think we're gonna give her a break in about a half an hour. Let's see, she needs food. You need to go eat and go use the restroom. Let's see if she does all this stuff. She is great. If you don't tell your Sims every little thing to do, they'll start picking up on these things on their own and just kinda make it a lot easier on you. <laughs> might need to rearrange her bedroom and stuff too. Oh, we're moving. I keep forgetting. We're going to find a nicer place for our Sims. Maybe we should just sell it all and move into a furnished place while they're at work. <laughs> they both seem very happy. Let's give them a day or two at work and build up some money and I'll figure out what I'm going to do in the meantime. It is a lot of work. Undercooked dish. Remake it, girl. You don't want to nuke it and then accidentally poison them. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you today, Nyla? Remaking the dish takes too long and the customer leaves. Maybe next time Myla should use the microwave. Performance loss. Oh, that's terrible. She got promoted. Um, I don't know that this is the right career for Myla either because she enjoys cooking, but she's not being promoted as fast as her sister and maybe it's just not the right fit for her. You know, so maybe we have her look for a new job when she gets home. 
The Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town. We'll probably go to that next time because, yeah, she's really sleepy and she's at work. So, work normally or we're going to have her leave early. Yes. Okay, she only got $112, but we're going to go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. We're going to leave Nyla sleeping, <laughs> and she's going to have a good time for a little bit because she's been working so hard and she's still not making what she should. She's unhappy, and I think she deserves a little bit of fun. And I haven't been to the Humor and Hijinks Festival yet. I've been to the... What is it? The Love Festival? <laughs> I love the flowers here. Look how beautiful this is. That's just gorgeous. Uh, so what do we do here? I know you choose one or the other to drink from. Will she do it on her own or do I need to tell her? She's dancing, having a good time. Uh, I'm gonna have her go here. Join the pranksters. What's the other one? It says the same thing. <laughs> All right. And what kind of swag can we buy? I love the little boots and things. This is neat. Oh. I wish we got a choice of which shirt we wanted. This one is definitely the cooler option. Okay. I can get fireworks. Let's let her get a sparkler because we're about to quit our job. And how about buy a festival t-shirt and wear one? Because I like the t-shirts. There's not really anything else we need there. We could get some fireworks. Perform mischief interactions to gain points for your team. Okay. I would have rather had the blue one, but the green one looks nice too. It's alright. Okay, so mischief interactions. What... Uh... Friendly introduction, maybe. I don't think that a friendly introduction is what is necessary around here. Is she telling jokes? Look how beautiful all the decorations are here. Oh, there was a different one. This is a... Poor light tea, and this is dark tea and we drank the dark tea I see <laughs> so is it we need to be rude to people yeah there's the <laughs> Oh no. Uh, I don't want her to be too terrible, but I want her to gain some points. The jokesters are in lead by two. Sing the prankster's theme song. And... 
Implied tea sabotage? That's terrible. Prankster theme song? I don't think we've still heard her sing that. She's like, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna have her scare this dude. The pranksters are in the lead by one. Keep performing interactions for your team to earn points. He did not jump. <laughs> Convince him the tea is poisonous. Snarful. <laughs> She's like nothing really. I don't really get the point of this because like their interactions are all negative. She's not really making any friends by doing these. <laughs> Maybe if we grab a bite to eat. Oh, that ticked away one of her goals. That's wonderful. It would also be neat if it gave you a shirt, depending on which you drink from. A purple shirt would have been amazing. The pranksters are in the lead by three. Keep performing interactions for your team to earn points. Uh, her hygiene level is not great. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> is there a restroom? There is not. There usually is. It sounded like she said we'll set an alarm. The pranksters win. All pranksters have received a voodoo doll, fireworks, and $500. That's cool. That's neat. And we're setting off fireworks. Place in the world and light. Awesome! Oh, let's zoom out a bit so we can see all the cute fireworks. That is really cool. Oh no, she's filling up that stomach. I forgot she was a vegetarian and I had her grab food and I did not think of which food she might be grabbing. Uh-oh. Where is she? Are you okay? She may have gotten sick. <laughs> She seems to be feeling better, so fireworks seem to be her thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right, what are her needs other than hygiene? She made a little money. She had some fun. She was rude to a lot of people. <laughs> so the point of the festival is you can make a little bit of money if you pull pranks on people. It is a very awesomely decorated area though. I do like all of the colorful areas. There's that restroom I was looking for before. Okay, and now we socialize and everyone's a little more friendly. Is that what's going on? We might be able to get down with that. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see, where is she at? Okay, cool, everybody's headed home now. Kind of late at night. me how to get a drink who are all these people have we even talked to the neighbors probably not <laughs> interesting why was she in my house what lock for everyone but household members I always forget to do that but it's very important apparently okay so Nyla is very happy. Myla's fairly happy. It looks like she's feeling playful from the hijinks festival. And awkward encounter from socialization. She would like to hide. That's terrible, sweetie. How about we find you a new job? Your cooking skills are great, and I'm thinking we might be able to find you something better than what you're doing now. Or find you something in a different field. Maybe bartending. You tend to be working a lot more and not really getting promoted, so... Do we go to work with them for this? Is that why they have a star next to them? Or what is that? She might do good at a barista. And it makes 28 an hour. I don't remember how much she was making before. Mila quit her job at Make-A-Dish. She decided it was time for a new direction career-wise. And now coffee stain remover at the 40 or frothy foamer. She starts Wednesday at 5 a.m. Those are some early hours, girl. <laughs> She's embarrassed. Don't worry about it. You're great. Um, create paintings. You need to work on those a little bit. But you just got off of work. Oh, you go to work in seven hours? Oh, what is this painting? I'm going to have her put that one in the inventory. I kind of like it too. Probably telling her sister all about the hijinks festival. She probably should go get some sleep. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> See, she seems to really enjoy painting and she likes Maya. what she's doing. We want the same thing for her sister. Lila. Hopefully we can make that work out. She is going to be a master painter in no time. <laughs> I love arts and crafts and things like painting and creating jewelry, if you guys didn't know, guys and gals. <laughs> um, I'm working on creating some jewelry and trying to open up my own little shop, probably an online one. Not quite sure the whole setup of that yet. I'm still working on it. It's a lot to be streaming and setting up a shop and, you know, <laughs> making the actual jewelry. I'm working on the actual jewelry portion now and hoping to have a bunch of it done by my birthday. And I would like to do a large giveaway and hopefully open up a little shop right now, on my please. birthday, August the 2nd. So stay tuned if you're interested in seeing some of that stuff. I have some Animal Crossing inspired jewelry. I have some beaded jewelry that's just, you know, inspired by my brain and what I would love to wear and what I think other people might be interested in. So, you know, just, I don't know, creating little artistic pieces like things that I might want. <laughs> that's how I got started into crafting jewelry anyway. Oh no, I had her sell her painting. That's rude. Oh well. Um, let's have you read. I don't know if she's leveled up her cooking. She's laughing. She's like, I don't cook. I have a sister that cooks. Yeah, go get on the computer. That sounds like a great idea for you. Have some fun. Socialize. We're about to get y'all up out of this place into a nicer one. I wonder if I changed the wallpaper if the mouse holes would go away. <laughs> I thought if I kept improving their furnishings and kept complaining to the landlords that the bugs might stop, but it's not working for them. The apartments are just so lovely. A giant raccoon. I know I saw a jack giant raccoon down there earlier. She's going downstairs to chat with them. Okay. Oh my goodness. There they are. No, don't go get sleep. Wait a minute. Let her come talk to you because... Oh my goodness. What is this? Like, last time the raccoon disappeared. I was trying to show my husband before. Now I have proof there was a giant raccoon. There are raccoons at night. Nabara Watanini. Hey, Ben. Karenzi. Oh, Bibble and Barsa. Ah. 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 Gorba. Ah. Oh, and Janga. Fascinating. Mm. Oh, don't go back upstairs. No. We're both downstairs. What's going on? Go downstairs. They also can go to the park and play basketball and things like that when there's no festival in town.
She's feeling flirty, but she likes fitness. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> that she's mean? You don't need a mean friend. They'll be pranking people together before I know it. <laughs> oh, there's a performer. That's incredible. I love it. Give me money. <laughs> That's what that translated to. Trying to get them both to a new fitness level real fast and then they can go upstairs and do whatever they would like. I think that one of them has to go to work very soon. Oh no, 22 hours for you. Two hours for you. And did you just level up your fitness? You did. Okay, how about you go home and get ready for work. That's a wonderful idea. And you've got 22 hours and your energy level is going down. But you know, there we go. Level two. Now do whatever you'd like. <laughs> Would you like to go watch a performer? And maybe give him some monies? You just won like 500, maybe give him a hundred. Don't laugh, don't be rude. Okay, we can buy produce and cook. All right, I love the little markets downtown. This is great. I hope she's up there doing her stuff for work because it says it starts in about an hour. Feeling energized. She's had some social. She's eating, I hope. Oh, well, actually, she could grab some food at the festival here or whatever is going on. Taquitos sound great. She's like, ah, oh, something a little sadder, but it's still beautiful. grab like one or two of everything. Cherries are kind of expensive, but I bet we can make a dessert with those or some pancakes. I think they're not fond of fiery foods and I do believe they're both kind of leaning towards being vegetarian, which is great because there's a lot of vegetarian meals. I should not be spending this much on these things when they're thinking of moving soon. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a produce stand. We need produce. She's a chef. <laughs> and it's only a hundred over what she won, you know, and she donated some too. I know, I know, terrible. But... <laughs> It'll be productive once we get it home and cook with it. 
here. Share photos with your sister. Maybe have a chat. Oh, she's like, I gotta go to work, man. I'm sorry. All right. Well, make a new friend. Talking about shoes. I love how beautiful this is. She is a vegetarian bean and cheese burrito. Oh, thanks, Kira. Jack, Jack. The food at the Humor and Hijinks Festival, I think is what it was called. We had her get something that had meat in it, apparently, and it made her feel kind of ill for a day or so. Well, not a day, but a little bit. Like two hours, I believe. We don't want her feeling ill, though. <laughs> She's like, hello, madam. Hello, sir. May I have food? <laughs> He's like, anything else for you, ladies? I have lots of food. Oh, I'm closing my booth. I see. Myla has learned how to make bean and cheese burrito. Oh, wonderful. So if we eat there, we can kind of deduce how to make it. That's neat. <gasps> Look at all the crates and how they're cut. That's wonderful and so cool. Is this a drink or it's produce, isn't it? There aren't any drink stands. Oh, that's okay. She needs energy and things like that way more. Oh, look at this performer. <laughs> Maybe another time. She's ready to go upstairs and get some sleep. <laughs> I didn't realize they had so many performances. This is cool. I wonder why it hasn't teleported us back upstairs yet. I think I may have to press on her stuff to go back upstairs. Or we could just stay here and watch what the city does and fast forward. She's just sleeping anyway. Apparently the little burrito stand has many shifts. <laughs> and changes them often. If we practice, can we perform? Maybe. We might have to buy our own stuff. I love the bench. It's so happily decorated. Oh, she's having a beverage. I hope it was okay. I hope it was excellent quality and you're not poisoning yourself with something sitting outside from all night long. <laughs> you need to use the restroom and take a shower. You're funky. Work is in 16 hours. Don't be a slacker. Let's go. Yes, use the restroom and take a bubble bath so you're not uncomfortable. Alrighty. I haven't seen any bugs or mice in a minute, so that means they will be here very soon. Hopefully her taking a bubble bath will make <clears throat> the little plum bob go from yellow to green again and we can send her to work on her very first day in a better mood. 
She's still wearing her festival shirt. That's cool. Um, energy needs. Gonna need some sleep, sweetie. They couldn't afford many apartments when we moved here. Hopefully after selling everything and getting them a better job and things like that, they can afford a much better place and we can improve their life a bit. <laughs> I love that they sound like chipmunks when you hit fast forward. <laughs> you have some weird hours, Nyla. Oh, wait, no. Myla might. <laughs> She's still giggling in her sleep. That is creepy as all get out. You need to go use the restroom or you're going to be really uncomfortable in the morning and then you can go to bed. And hunger levels and things like that we'll deal with later. So $900 if I start selling everything. I don't remember if that was necessary either. I thought that when I moved, it sold everything for me. But on the off chance that it does not, <laughs> I want to put certain things in inventory. And that way we have a nicer start at things. I don't really need the lamp. I do want the things we have purchased. things that were given to us. I think that I purchased the kitchen stuff too. Like the stove and the refrigerator. I'm sure they're both like, why is everything disappearing in my home? No. <laughs> I want the dressers. I want the bed. We don't want to have to rebuy all of the bar equipment. And we're just going to casually throw everything into boxes and get up out of here. things I can place in my inventory before it tells me my inventory is full. And you just can't do that anymore. <laughs> Alright, I think we cleared the place out. Um, this was ours and this was ours. selling everything else because I'm pretty sure that it gives us gives it to us anyway and then they can just sell the unfurnished apartment because 
It was gross. It had bugs. We can't live like this. We have got to find something better for our two sisters. Okay, girl, it's it's time to get up. We're making you sleep on the floor for a second. <laughs> I know. Awful. I promise I have rhyme and reason. <laughs> Must sell the doors too. Sell the light fixtures. Cabinets, all of it. Give them a better shot at life. <laughs> and this landlord needs to update this stuff anyway. It's all broken and gross looking and yeah. Yeah. They're not gonna need doors. We're just gonna teleport on up out of here. They're gonna be real confused, but it's okay. Get on your phone, girl. We gotta go. Okay, it says funds are 4,000. Um... That is a lot of weekly rent. I love when it tells us you can't afford to live here. <laughs> Please don't tell me they can't afford to move. That's awful. That's awful. They still can't afford to move. A TLC is what they keep saying. This one's a two bedroom and it's quiet. It's spooky is what it says. Maybe it's the insulation or maybe the neighbors are very polite. Either way, it's never noisy here. I think that would be good for her though because she was complaining about the noise before. We can afford it. <laughs> we can afford it unfurnished. Wonderful. That sounds great. Hopefully we can take care of it. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to pay your rent on time. We will do. Let's get those walls down a bit. And go into our new place. Which one is our place? Is it this? <laughs> I assume so because the other ones are darkened. Well, I don't know because he just went into that one. Is ours the blacked out lot? <laughs> Okay. I've not done it this way before, done the unfurnished apartment. Yeah, it looks like ours is the one with no lights on or anything. 
So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and look at the layout and see what we've got. Okay, so this will be our front door. These could be bedrooms. This could be our living room and kitchen and this is our bathroom it looks like. Okay, well we can deal with that because we have our household inventory and we took everything from the old apartment. So we have two dressers. I'm going to go ahead and give her the darker bedroom. We've got our shower. Let's really hope that everything fits in in this apartment. I don't know that we took our sink, but that's all right. Uh, we'll just set it up like a basic bedroom for the moment and we can go back and change everything we want to change and make it look a lot niftier. Ooh, can't intersect with other objects. I don't think it wanted it over there by the window. That window is kind of intersecting two rooms though. Uh, it might be a bit smaller of an apartment, but it's a nicer place it looks like. Okay, well she is our artist. So let's have her put up her paintings. Um, yeah, we don't want those. My mistake. I'll get those sold later. Okay, so stove. It looks like this is our kitchen. Oh, come on. Stove. refrigerator and we have seven of these lovely counters. I need to turn myself so I don't have to keep doing that. <laughs> okay. What's with the dynamic music? Calm down. We're just decorating. It's okay. need to turn. <laughs> okay, that looks like a kitchen for a professional chef. And actually, I'm going to put that there. We may put a little dining nook over here. I kind of like the idea of the stove and the fridge being along the other wall. Or maybe just the fridge. What is the difference between those? Is this an island counter piece? just because it's in the corner maybe all right I'm gonna switch this one and this one
just want it to look nice without... I don't know. I think maybe the dining area could go there, close to the window. And we'll just put a nice rug there. That sounds better. Alright, and we have a rather tiny living room, but the view is extraordinary. So I say we place the chairs right in the front with the window and stuff, and then we'll put the TV by the window, but I bet we look more outside more than we do at the window. Or outside at the window more than we do at our decorations here. Because it's lovely. Turn the chairs so that we can talk and visit. <laughs> I want them to still be able to get in their living room. Is that even? It looks like it. Oh, no. Come on. Work with me, living room furniture. Okay, television. There we go. It's, I think my table's turned wrong. That's funny. All right. Uh, toilet paper roll for the bathroom. This was our dining room table. These are our kitchen chairs. And that looks lovely in that little area. I do recommend putting the table closer. Oh no, what happened? Where did it go? Hmm. Uh oh, did I accidentally sell their computer? Not their computer, their table. My mistake. I was looking at the computer and thinking I did not bring the computer desk. Which is a little bit upsetting because, yeah. Oops. Um, they don't have an outward area to... Have the furniture for the balcony so we'll go ahead and just get rid of it and her dresser I don't want to block her beautiful view out of her window I think that's where we should put her artist easel and possibly where we should put her kickboxing equipment We still have our rolly chair. This can go next to the shower, I guess. We'll need a sink for cooking for sure. Um she has her bartending equipment, but I don't know if she needs it for being a barista. And we don't have a whole lot of room. So that's going to be a little bit tragic if she does need it. <laughs> we might be able to make it work. Here. 
here. And how about... Uh-oh, it split away from the rest of the pieces. <laughs> and then we just maybe turn it? Trying to make the best of a small situation. <laughs> um, there we go. Will that work? Actually. This will work a lot better. And if we don't need the bar, we'll go ahead and sell it. I don't know if I've made the situation worse by putting them in a smaller apartment or if I have improved their living situation because of the rats and the bugs. But I'm going to decorate her sister's room with a few paintings just because I think she would love that. trying to sell it. I don't want it on a wall. Okay. It'll let me sell everything but these stupid cabinets. Alright. Let me get the walls up a little bit. Why does it do this to me? I just want that one wall right here up. You know? <laughs> just this one bathroom wall so I can see what I'm doing when I try to place the towel rack. I feel like that's too high up. <laughs> goes all wonky and it doesn't let you adjust it. It's either really too low or really too high. Why? Come on, you got this. You can do this. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's not too high again. Oh, it kind of looks like it. They just reach up and get their towel is all, you know? Uh, let's see, a bookshelf. And a glow lamp. What kind of- oh, is that the one for her artwork? Or is that like a bathroom light? Let's go with bathroom light because we don't really have anything in there. Yeah. Kids ceiling light. That could be our kitchen slash dining room. Alright. Patio furniture. Will it hold a computer? Oh? Well, my goodness. Let me see. Okay. That could work for the time being. <laughs> um, I don't want them to wake each other up by going into each other's room. And I fear that putting the computer in one bedroom or the other will be where that leads. And then they're going to be cranky at each other instead of the neighbors. I think she had this in her room. Just trying to make everything I can fit in fit in real quick. 
give it a little bit of decoration if I can. Sell what isn't needed. It is a little bit cramped, but hopefully they will like it anyway and it'll be beautiful by the time they're done with it. Some of the furniture doesn't really fit their style now. Ugh, it can't be sold. Um, maybe we turn it so that we can use the chair from that direction. Oh no, not the whole... Oops. I'm bad at this, y'all. <laughs> oh, come on. Could you just work? There we go. There is the art light for her painting. It needs to go on a wall as well. And I am not a fan of how bright red her bedroom is right now. This is looking wow. in the corner of her room so she can draw and have a good time. Let's see, let's go on over to paint. I thought it wasn't going to let me choose a new wall color for a second. I was like, oh no, we are definitely going to choose a new color one way or another. Basic dark is what it says, but that looks kind of pinkish to me, or lavender. And that is a lot better than all that red. And actually, let's go with a darker shade of the same variation and put that on her walls too, because, you know. Why not? Let's hope that they love their new apartment, but we're going to let them go on in and take a peek around and see what they think. I have about $4,000 to decorate it a little bit better for them. Get them a computer desk, maybe, that's smaller and will fit in a corner or something. And possibly just getting started is our new achievement. <laughs> Wonderful. So. She can still use her computer. They still have all of the things they need. I'm hoping it makes them very happy and just, you know, improves their standard of living. There aren't any mouse holes that I've seen. I don't see any roaches. I don't see anything that's going to make them uncomfortable, I hope. It's spooky quiet around here is what the advert said. But that just means no noisy neighbors, right? I don't want to block their window view. But I think their bookshelf would look nicer here. Oh yeah, that's much better. So lovely. I think this is going to be much, much nicer for them. And we should still be able to get around pretty well. The bedrooms are huge and they spend a lot of time kind of doing their own thing. So, uh. fabulous. I think this will work out nicer.
I might be able to make their bedrooms both smaller by one block and make their living room bigger by two. And that would just be phenomenal. Then they have like the perfect apartment. Because those bedrooms are just slightly too big anyway. And I can Tetris stuff around to make it look nicer. <laughs> All right, she has not been to work yet. Hopefully a new job, a new place will make her a lot friendlier and happier to be around. <laughs> Create paintings is her daily task and it's not started yet because she needs food and energy. We're going to let her build all that up and see what they can come up with in their new apartment. I do hope you'll join me. If you're new here, please subscribe. I love to do Sims builds. I play Animal Crossing and Dreamlight Valley and just try to have a really chill and happy environment. <laughs> I hope you'll join me next time. Don't forget to leave me a like. It really helps me out. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in the giveaway I'm going to be doing on my birthday in August because you need to be subscribed. <laughs> and it will be on my birthday, so I really hope to have more friends by then and have y'all come hang out with me and just have an excellent time. <laughs> we may play a variety of games and just hang out and I might just draw like a random subscriber name from a hat or something every so often. I have several of those packages to give out. I'm thinking at least three for that day and I'm crafting more to be put on a website for a shop later. Future details to be disclosed at a later time. <laughs> I'm still piecing it all together as I go. I'm working my hardest at it and trying to make sure everything goes as planned. But I hope all of you have an amazing day. And thank you so very much again for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye, friends.